in the land of grills. Oh man, we got a challenge today. Original Blue Bag Kingsford against the all new Kingsford High Heat Briquettes. Which is better, folks? We're gonna try out and see uh, if it's really worth buying the high heat. Is it better than a blue bag? Let's find out. All right, let, let's start off, find out about as much of it as we can. And here's the bag, it just says high heat. It doesn't say how high the heat is, and I, I guess that's gonna depend on how you're using it. And here's the original. Um, they're saying it's 100% natural ingredients. Let's take a look at the back of the bag. So made in the USA, it looks like at all these locations, is where it's made and depending upon where you purchase it from you know it looks like there's only one on the west coast uh but really looking through here and uh you know just say it 100 percent natural ingredients um 100 natural ingredients including real american wood and say that there though uh let's go online so here we are at the kingsford site and uh it doesn't really tell you. The bag tells you more than what the site tells you. It just has recipes and how to control the heat. So they're really not being uh, very, you know, telling us how high heat, high heat is. Let's uh, take what. Let's take a look at price. We'll go to Walmart. All right. So this is the 12 pound bag, and I did find it on Walmart.com. And 12 pound bag is uh, 15 bucks. All right, so at Walmart, it doesn't look like you can get a single bag, uh, but you can get a two pack that are, uh, you can see 12.9 12 pounds, and it's 30 bucks, so that comes out to 15. So they're very similarly priced. Uh, I tell you, what, let's open them up. I want to weigh the weigh a briquette from each bag, uh, and then uh, we'll do our test. All right, let's weigh them. Uh, the one with the wood chips in it is the high heat, and I've done like three or four of each trying to find the ones that are, are um, whole and not missing any chunks. And they've all been pretty close. You can see 22 grams. And then the original, wait for the zero. Original is also 22 grams. There's been a couple that have been 23. Um, I think the majority of it has been, they've been pretty close in uh, weight. And obviously they are similar in size also. All right, let's uh, get to the grill. Remember, this is all about whether the blue bag is, uh, or the high heat is hotter than the blue bag original. All right, using uh, the Weber Smoky Joe, I, I'm gonna do it both the same. Got a divider in here. I'm gonna put three briquettes in there. Now this is the blue bag. I'm gonna light those with a torch, good. And then I'm gonna stack and count how many I'm gonna put on there. Then when I do the high heat, I'm gonna repeat the process exactly the same. Now, the vent setting, hang on. So I can see the temp. I'm gonna put the grill grate on. I'll put two Oklahoma Joe pucks on this side, and I, I am gonna do the vent opposite. On the Smoky Joe, it's so close to the fire source that it isn't gonna make much of a difference. Top vent's gonna be wide open. Bottom vent's gonna be wide open. I do have a little bit of breeze coming from this direction today, so that might affect it a little bit. Uh, let's get them fired up. I'll give you a look, see once they're rolling. All right, I'm gonna add to that that once I get them going and I'm comfortable with my test and they're ashed over. I'm probably gonna take the lid off and just see, you know, cause I'm a little curious cause of the wood, wood sawdust more or less in the high heat. Is that gonna make more visible flame? Would that be why it would be high heat and what they say better for searing? I can even put some steel targets on there and shoot them and see how, how hot it's getting. We'll do that too. Cause I want you to see whether, you know, the high heat is the real deal. All right, give you a look, see, uh, I got three of them going. Uh, I got a total with the three of 14 in there stacked up kind of on top of each other. You can see them back there. Two Oklahoma jug pucks in there to monitor temperature. I've got two targets that I can use my infrared on. Uh, temperature outside is in the low 30s right now. Uh, and I am going to set a timer and, uh, oh, come on, really? Okay, and then uh, I'll check it every 15 minutes, give you a look-see. All right, first 15 minutes, you can see uh, lid is reading uh, about 100. Smoke out of there. Our pucks are reading uh, 125, 125. The um, infrared, 219. Well, all over the place there. So it's just uh, really starting to get going here. We're gonna go another 15, give you a look, see. All right, coming up to temp, we're 200 on this side. Pucks are saying 225, 225. 
the targets are uh, I don't know, 340 and about 340. Keep on going, you can see we're just about ashed over at the top. Protect it from the wind a little bit. Keep on going. All right, 45 minutes into it, we're about 250 on this side. Smoke is gone, so we know that we are starting to, yeah, starting to get pretty hot here. Uh, 300, 300, and then our targets. 360. And... 360, depending upon where I put it. Um, we're gonna go one more 15 and then I think I'll leave the lid off and see how hot it can get. All right, one hour mark. I got another target here that I'm gonna put, I think right over the charcoals. You see, we're burning down pretty good. One hour here. Our Oklahoma drill pucks are reading uh, shy of 300, about 275 right there. See how our targets are doing. Targets, you can see three something over there. Yeah, 400 there. Let's put one more right on top. We're going to leave the cover off, go another 15 minutes. Give you a look-see. You can tell we are, um, the bottom stuff is pretty much ashed over. And uh, we'll just go, you know, a little bit more, 15 more minutes. Give you a look-see. Uh, not getting overly hot right above the charcoal. It's only 14, though, you're going to say. Um, if there was a whole a lot more there, it'd probably be a little hotter. But like I said, we're going to do them both the same when we use the high heat. So we'll get a really good feeling whether high heat is hotter than the blue bag. Right, because of the wind, I did turn around the vent so it's right above the charcoal. You see the reading about 275. Take this off. Our pucks are at, uh, they're both sitting right around 250. Shooter targets here. Center target right over the charcoal is, you can see is six, all over the place. Let's just say 650-ish on the sides. And on the other side. So I'm gonna leave the lid off for another 15 and that'll be it and um, see how that does. All right, hour and a half, blue bag, uh, like I said, 14 uh, briquettes. Uh, just see what that center one is. And it's reading five, 500, 550, right in there. So I'm gonna let these burn down. They're just about done anyway. And uh, then we'll get started with the high heat. All right, got the ash all cleaned up. Uh, I got three of the high heat, this stuff right here. And in there, got them started with torch and then uh, put enough to get the 14, that would be 11, more stacked up. Oklahoma Joe's two targets. Bottom vents wide open, top vents wide open. The only thing that's changed a little bit, it's probably about 40-ish uh, right now out here, 45-ish. And uh, so when we did this the first time, it was probably 38. So we're a little bit warmer for ambient, but uh, we'll see how this does. Remember, this is supposed to be the high heat. Give you a look in 15 minutes. All right, 15 minutes into it, uh, I think we're a little bit tad warmer than we were at 15 minutes uh, on the blue bag. Let's take a look at our pucks. Pucks are reading uh, 160 there and 160 on that one too. Our uh, targets, 240 there, 226 there. You can see it looks like it's really going pretty good there on the inside. Uh, 15 more minutes. Give you a look-see. All right, 30 minutes uh, on the indirect side. Eh, a little bit more than 250, maybe 260, 275. Pucks are reading uh, just shy of 300. And you can see our charcoal is looking pretty hot. 426. About 380. So it's definitely run a little hotter. In fact, you know what? I think I'm gonna put Let's put, and I know this isn't what we did last time, but I just think that this thing is getting a little bit hotter than what uh, the blue bag was. Keep on going, uh, doing another 15, give you a look-see. All right, 45 minutes, 275. Uh, 325, 
325. About 380 there. 400, so definitely running <laughs> right side is hotter than directly over is, uh, yeah. Definitely, definitely running hotter on the uh, high heat Kingsford. Keep on going here a little bit. That's only 45 minutes. Let's see what it's like in uh, 15 minutes. All right, 15 more minutes. Still maintaining about 275 on the lid. And our pucks haven't really changed much. You can see the fires dwindling down a tad. 50 there, right over the fire. It's in the upper 600s. So we peaked, I think, when it comes to high temps. But, um, you know, we'll just uh, put this right over like that, vent over. Go 15 more and i'll give you my final thoughts but i think you already know what it's going to be and uh, i think it's that, that the kingsford high heat really does get hotter than the blue bag uh, 15 more minutes give me my final thoughts all right last look after another 15 350 and that's with the vent right over the charcoal we're 275 275 on oklahoma joe's and the targets Around 300 in the middle. That's still hot enough to see us, you know, you know. And uh, on the side there, three, uh, 300. So final thoughts, it's the real deal. It does get hotter than regular blue bag. Uh, and uh, that's all we were doing here on it today, folks. Hope this was helpful. Tom Horseman of YouTube, thumbs up, leave a comment. And as always, thanks for watching.